Good morning, teacups. Welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you my bullet journal spread for the Owls Readathon. And this is also my bullet journal spread for the month of April because this readathon takes place all throughout the month of April. If you're not familiar with this readathon, I will have everything linked down below. You may notice that I did get a new bullet journal. So this, I believe is just called the Soft Bound Journal. And instead of a line journal, it is a dot grid journal. This little rubber band here, it did not come with the journal so you can purchase it separately and they do fit all of the sizes of like the journals notebooks planners um, so I got mine in a pale pink and then at the bottom it says Abigail's cup of tea and rose gold but I really like this one because it is very Hufflepuff ish and it's also a really good size to take with you wherever you go so it's very portable and then if you saw my first video I also have this one this is a a spiral bound notebook in the dot grid version and I really like this one as far as using as kind of like a sketchbook here is an example I did one of Ron Weasley so I really like both of them I don't know if I really have like a preference I just enjoy using both so I'm gonna have both of those linked down below in case you're interested and then I also have a link where you can save $10 off your purchase this video is not sponsored I'm just obsessed with Erin Condren. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the spread. Excuse me, Nathaniel. All right, let's cut this baby open. Ah, Margo, do you have to lay like, okay. Margo, <laughs> oh, no. can you please move? So real quick, I wanted to show you what I picked up with my new journal. So I also got some markers. These are the colorful dual tip markers in Sunrise. And then these um, these are the rubber bands I was talking about. So it does come in a set of three. Um, but of course, this one is my favorite. Um, and like I said, they do fit all of the journals, notebooks, and planners. Um, and then I picked up these um, flower stickers because I thought they looked very springtime. Time -ish. And then you can also get customizable stickers, which I did mention in my first bullet journal video. So these are just some of my Instagram photos. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so uh, for every month I like to do a calendar page first. So this is kind of like my cover page. So for April, I wanted to do something very yellow themed. So I printed off these photos from Pinterest. And then for this, I just have two photos from my Instagram. And then on this page, this is my main owls readathon spread. So I have another Instagram photo here. And I thought this one was perfect for the TBR page because it shows my bookshelf. Um, and then this is my list of my TBR. So I do have a video on my TBR if you want to see that. I'll have that linked down below but there is one change um, to my TBR that wasn't in my original video so originally I was going to take muggle studies but I couldn't decide on a book for it so I decided to take divination instead so I'm going to be reading shatter me for that and then for this page I decided to do a tiny little printout of the Hogwarts professor spread that G created she actually created a whole like pamphlet of different wizarding careers, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so I've decided to go for the Hogwarts professor and more specifically, I've decided to go for the herbology professor, which is why I decided to do these little plant stickers. Um, but yeah, I, for this, I do have to pass seven owls, which is why there are seven books on my TBR list. And then I must take um, herbology since I want to be a herbology professor and then I also must take defense against the dark arts 
And then for this page, I decided to make a little replica of a Hogwarts envelope. <laughs> so I did a little drawing of a Hogwarts wax seal. And then this Hogwarts crest was actually from one of the printables that G created. And then on the inside here, this is something that G also created. This is basically a rundown of all of the classes that you can take. And there are different reading prompts for each class. So basically, if you want to take ancient runes, you have to read a retelling and so on and so forth. So yeah, there is that. And then on this page, I posted a picture of this page on my Instagram and I actually got a lot of questions about this. You guys were asking what the different squares mean. So for each square, it represents uh, 50 pages. So some of the books are longer than others and that is why there are more squares for different classes. So yeah, it's basically my reading tracker page. So every time I read 50 pages, I get to fill in a little square. And I did participate in the Charms Extra Credit Readathon, so I did get to start my Charms prompt today. So I did complete three extra credits, so I got to start three days early. And so I've been reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, and I've really been loving it so far. So I get to check off a little square for my my reading tracker and I find it so rewarding to be able to like fill in a little square so I think that this system is going to work really well for me I didn't actually do this in any of the previous readathons so I'm excited to see how well this will work so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon thanks for watching bye